what is up you guys my name is Laura Reed and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take Instagram photos all by yourself so definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and let's get started all right so first things first we are actually headed down to the beach because as you can see it is beautiful sunrise lighting and the sunrise is definitely the best lighting to shoot in it's that really nice soft glow and just makes your photos look that much better so as you can see I'm on this beautiful beach right now I have actually all my stuff over here on this log um, is that I'm gonna set this camera up on timer. I did also bring a hat with me. Having a prop um, is really good, so it just gives you another thing to pose with. So I have literally no idea who owns this dog. Okay, the dog is gone. <laughs> we are gonna move locations. All right, so I've just taken this chair from the pool here, and this is a really good kind of makeshift tripod. If you're not getting the camera the angle that you want, what you can do is you can actually just take a towel or an object um, and just kind of make it work. All right, so a little trick if you wanna make sure that you're actually in focus is figure out where you're gonna stand. So I know I'm gonna be just past that or in line with that palm tree. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm shooting on a 2.8 aperture, is I'm gonna actually focus it on the palm tree. So then I know if I'm in line with it, that I will actually be in focus. Okay, another trick to make sure that the shot actually stays in focus and you're in the position that you actually wanna be in while the photo's being taken is just do a step back and forth. For me, I knew I wanted to be holding my hat and having the dress swing it back and forth. And so what I did is I would just continue walking forward and go like this. And working with things like props or a dress makes solo shooting also a lot less awkward because you actually have something to play with. I think the biggest awkward thing about solo shooting is that oftentimes you will have people looking at you funny or being like, what is this girl doing talking to herself? But you honestly just have to ignore it um, because that's literally the only way that you're gonna get photos. And then just be excited when you post it later, knowing that you put all that hard work in. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I feel like this area would actually look quite nice for a photo, but as you can see, no one is here to help me take one. So we're gonna set up our phone. I think like, we're gonna try and set it up like right here and just basically like lean it against this, set it on a timer and shoot away. <laughs> So you can just fake laugh, you can look over, hold the prop, and go. But as you can see, this is our nice little makeshift tripod. So I just have it leaned up against like this, um, and then I have self timer on. You can see the image right there, and then I just click this, it'll start counting down. I'll go and run into position, grab my prop, which is this and go and stand. All right, so we are headed on a nice little adventure to the beach um, to take some photos. So basically I have my phone on me and I have my Canon M50, which I'm shooting on right now. I didn't bring my 1DX down um, because it is slightly trickier to take photos on there by yourself. So I thought right here, right behind me, would actually be really cool for a photo. I think I'm gonna balance the camera somewhere on here and use my bag to balance it and then have me walking down the beach. Okay, and then my second trick, as you can see, this photo, it does look like it was taken low down, which is kind of like a dead giveaway that you took the photo yourself. So what you can actually do is just go up to like a higher altitude. So then if I put my phone up here and I face it that way, it's gonna look like it was taken by an actual person. Another key is to actually just hold a pose for a really long time, because if you do that, then you're more likely to get a photo in the pose that you want. If you don't have a tripod, which sometimes when you're traveling, you just don't have one with you, um, you can actually use a bag as like a makeshift tripod. And these things are really great because especially if it's like a tote bag, with a few things in them, maybe like a shirt's inside, you can actually mold it so then it can balance against your shoes and then actually prop the phone up. And I'll show you right now. All right, so as you can see from these photos right here, I got something that looked like that. That was only taking a few photos. To get a really good shot, you are probably gonna need to take maybe anywhere from like 10 to 15 and just keep running back and forth. Um, if you can get one of those clicker timer things from Amazon, um, I'll leave those linked below because those are honestly really handy. And then what you can actually do is you can just set the camera up and then have the little clicker in your hand and click away versus having to run back and forth. Honestly, very tiring. It's a great workout but very tiring. 
Alright, so we moved a bit closer to the ocean and it's really pretty right now, so we're gonna try one of the long leg photos. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and it got some inspiration for how you can take photos all by yourself on your next family vacation or your next solo trip. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!